2014 was a great year. Now, whether you're in clinical research, metagenomics, ag bio, or even just looking at the technical improvements and next generation sequencing, these are the moments that mattered. In 2014, NGS moved into the clinic. The ION PGMDX system is now available as an in vitro diagnostic device in the US, the EU, and in other countries as applicable by registration. And now, to our research use only applications. How many days or weeks do you have to wait for your RNA-seq data? How does two days sound, right? Well, let's hear from our good friend Audrey Papp at The Ohio State University to learn how she used the ION AmpliSeq transcriptome solution to meet a very important grant deadline. Audrey? We got the RNA on Tuesday. Um, and they make beautiful RNA, so that really helps. But got the RNA on Tuesday, templated it Wednesday night, um, and sequenced on Thursday, got him results on Friday. He turned in the grant on Monday. Did you know 15 minutes could save you? No, that's something else. Wait, no, actually, yeah, I know. 15 minutes just with the eye on chef, hands on time, can meet a world of difference. And there was major workflow improvements in 2014. Just listen to Kate Fox at the Royal Surrey Hospital to hear about her experience with the chef. You can put the stuff on overnight, having cleaned your sequencer during the day, and say to it, I want you to finish at 10 o'clock in the morning. You get in at nine, initialize your sequencer, and then you've got two chips all nice and ready to go. And uh, you run them and can close the whole thing down and go home. I think with particularly trying to achieve turnaround times, it's going to be fantastic. Next on the list, some amazing work. Take a look. The Resilience Project is looking to identify individuals who have uh, very likely detrimental mutations in their genome, but they're healthy. So we're trying to find out what is protecting these individuals from developing the disease, and we're examining a number of different factors, including genetic and environmental, to understand better what is allowing them to be well, which has huge implications on potentially helping those who have the mutations but are not well. The Icon Institute at Mount Sinai in New York City estimate that 1 in 20,000 healthy adults possess a genetic secret that make them an unexpected hero. The Resilience Project, as we're seeing here, uses one of the largest custom ion amplitude panel designs to find these variants in their research. You can use a similar gene panel for your research studies in agrogenomics, cancer, apoptosis, inherited disease, or any genome of your choice. So if you have those zombie, vampire, or unicorn reference genomes laying around, you could use it on that too. No, no, seriously, you can use it on any genome. In addition, you can design a panel for RNA fusions or DNA copy number analysis as well. Over 140. That's the number of markers that will be used by GlaxoSmithKline and Pfizer to develop a universal oncology companion diagnostic. Using ion AmpliSeq targeted sequencing technology, they will leverage the ability to interrogate RNA fusions, DNA variants, and copy number. There are many ways to honor our veterans, and Claritas Genomics is helping out by adding exome sequencing data to one of the world's largest genetic databases with the Million Veterans Project. This project aims to help better understand genetic variation in our veterans to improve their health care in the future. They're harnessing the power of next generation sequencing and quick turnaround exome analysis. We are honored to take part in this project with Claritas. The world of metagenomics got a little simpler in 2014. We've made available the only kit covering seven 16S hypervariable regions and have coupled it with an easy to use analysis pipeline in the cloud. Next on our list, HiQ Chemistry. It was made available in 2014 with a verified improvement in accuracy, in particular with insertion deletion errors known as indels. We used an Aquametrics control with over 500 synthetic variants to measure the improvement. And if you haven't already, you should check out the blog post on it. And by the end of 2014, we reached the 1,000 publication mark. That's right, over 1,000 publications have cited using ion to our technology. Nice affirmation of the wide adoption of the technology for the variety of research applications. So what will 2015 bring? What kind of things are you looking forward to? Let us know in the comments wherever you're finding this video. And don't forget to follow us on our blog at lifetechnologies.com forward slash behind the bench. Have a great year.